Hello everyone! Sometimes in Salesforce we have a situation when outgoing emails showing up as a spam in our email boxes or even sometimes they are actually filtered into the separate spam folder and you could not see you know, like those emails in your list of incoming emails. So how it could be resolved? In Salesforce we have such kind of functionalities that allow us to create DKIM key and uh, to do so what we need to do is we need to go to setup, find email keys and create a new key. So once we will create a new key, we will need to specify what kind of uh, key size we would like to use. Usually, for example, I am using the biggest one for it to be a little bit more secure. So then we are specifying what kind of selector and alternative selector we would like to specify and the actual domain. So that actual domain that we will put here, it will be actually used in situation when all our incoming emails into our email box from Salesforce, from our org, where we add in this DKIM key, we'll have the following signed by uh, parameter. And we will be able to see this um, parameter as well here. So we will be able to see that, you know, like it's passed because of that key. Um, so once it's done and we save it basic configuration, so what it will uh, let us know is that the following parameters now, uh, now available. It's CNAME and alternative CNAME record. So we are grabbing those two parameters and actually adding them into our DNS records. So once they are, let's say, added here, we will have this, let's say, published status here. And once we will click here in the DNS to save. So that means that uh, we will be able to refresh our page and we will be able to see this activate key button. So once we will click on that, that means that all our emails now that will go from Salesforce should be uh, signed with that specific key. And that means that they should not be showing up as a spam. And other than that, there are some key points that we need to remember. Uh, so for example, DKIM does not encrypt your email, that it does not save your from a spam once and for all of the time. So that means that, you know, like if you will still continue to, you know, like spam someone from Salesforce Org, then it will continue to apply the actual, you know, like filtering logic. Uh, but at least for the beginning, for your emails not showing up as a spam, you could use that option and other things that you could read from that article. So hope that. It's a helpful information for you. Thank you for the attention and bye-bye.